The Crane and the Crab Once upon a time, there lived a crane by the side of a pond. He used to catch the fish from the same pond. Every fish hated him, but he loved every fish because... Fishes are so tasty! Yum! The crane always had a full meal. He would enjoy his hunts and meals. <gasps> what is happening to me? The crane was growing older and weaker. He was not his usual self. His flights were slower. <gasps> I'm tired already. And as he dived to catch fish, most of the time fishes escaped him because of his sluggish movements. Oh, my joint pain so badly. Don't go there. Crane will eat you up. Ah, don't worry. He couldn't eat me from past two weeks. I have been teasing him. But see, he cannot even move. And before he tries to catch me, I'm far away from him. Let me show you. Ah, uh, food. Ah, uh, got you. Hello. Oh. But he falls flat on the water as the fish swim away to their friends. Saw that? Now we don't need to fear the crane. With time, he became so weak that he could not arrange for his food. The condition was that the fish swam around him, but he could not catch them. Oh, curse this old age! How am I supposed to eat? I have been hungry for two days! One day, he was extremely hungry. He hadn't eaten anything for the past many days. To satisfy his hunger, without much toil and trouble, he devised a plan. Oh, I know what I must do! In order to start off with his plan, he went to the side of a pond with a gloomy face without any intention to catch a fish. The fish, frogs, and crabs thought why he was not trying to catch any food. Oh, he looks so sad. Maybe he is hungry. Will he die? One big crab on seeing the sad crane went to him. Hello, old crane. What's the matter? You look so sad. Alas, there is some bad news about this pond. Bad news? What is it? No, I don't have a heart to tell you that. Oh, come on. If it's about the pond, we need to know. We live here too. Okay, if you insist. I am worried that the pond is soon going to be devoid of any fish, which are in turn my source of food. <gasps> devoid of any fish? How? Why? I have heard that some people are going to fill the tank with mud and grow crops over it. Oh my god, that's pure bad luck. I must tell the others. <gasps> That'll be terrible! Oh no! What are we gonna do? All the creatures of the pond got worried after hearing the crane. Oh my! What are we to do now? You can still live on land, but we fish will not survive. Ah, the panic has spread. Founding the situation in his favor, the crane said, Don't panic, there is a way out. There is? Yes. I know of a pond somewhat far away where all the creatures will be safe. If the creatures are interested, I can carry a few each day to the other pond where the will be safe. Oh, yes, please help us. Help us. Please help us. Help us, please. I need your help. Everyone in the lake was eager to take the help of the crane. But I have a few conditions. What? 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 
I will require rest between trips due to my old age. And I'll be able to carry only a few fish at a time. Oh, we agree. Yes, that's fine. I agree to that. We agree. The creatures were ready to go with the crane on his condition. In the very first trip, the crane took some fish in his beak. But instead of taking them to another pond, he took them to a nearby hill and ate them. Oh, finally, my hunger is satiated. After taking rest for some time, again, when he felt hungry, he took the second trip. In this manner, the crane was getting a continuous supply of fish without any effort. Within a few days, he regained his health and became fleshy. The big crab also wanted to be saved. Please take me also to the other pond. Good time to try different food. Okay. I will take you in the next trip. On the next trip, when some time had passed. How far is the other pond now? The crane found that the crab was quite an innocent creature and would never know about his evil plans. You fool! Do you think I am your servant? There is no other pond around here. I made this plan in order to be able to eat you all. Now you too be prepared to lose your life! The crab realized the foul play of the crane. Ah, I will not die like this, you selfish crane! And without losing his senses, he quickly tightened his sharp claws around the neck of the crane. Oh, it hurts! It will hurt a little more now! The ah! crab snapped off the head of the crane. Thus, the crane lost his life. The crab somehow dragged himself back to the pond and narrated the whole incident to all the creatures of the pond. Every one of them thanked the crab for his effort. Oh, crab, you are so intelligent. No, the crane lost his life because of his greed, not because of my intelligence. Moral of the story. Always remember, excessive greed is harmful. <laughs>